Hi, this is Mr. Guy, and I'm going to be going over tools of monetary policy and what to do with the different tools to raise GDP or lower GDP. So we've got three tools of monetary policy. First one is the discount rate. Second one is reserve requirement. Third one is T-bills. So the discount rate is the interest rate that member banks are charged by the Federal Reserve System. And this would be Chase uh, Bank or Wells Fargo or Citibank or Bank of America. This is what the Federal Reserve charges them for borrowing. So this is their cost of money and their cost of loans. So if the discount rate uh, goes up, then they'll pass on the higher cost to uh, banks and consumers and higher loans, higher credit cards, higher uh, personal loans. And if the discount rate goes down, they'll pass the lower rates down to consumers and to businesses and lower interest rates. So that is the discount rate. The reserve requirement is the amount of money that banks have to hold for deposits. They cannot load out the money, and that's the main business of a bank is to loan out the money. So this money just sits in the vaults, and it just stays there, and it's there for customer withdrawals uh, and transactions. So banks, of course, want to lend out 100% of their money, and this actually stops them from doing that. So if you want to keep the money supply uh, lower it and you want to decrease it, you would raise the reserve requirement. If you want to increase the money supply, you would actually lower the reserve requirement. And then we have T-bills, and this is the final one. This is like a large savings bond, um, and basically these come in 10,000 increments, and these are loans to the government. So that would be you and I, um, or businesses would actually lend to the government $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 in uh, an instrument and we would get paid back in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. T-bills are under, uh, the term is under one year and if it's a term between like one and ten years that's a treasury note and if it's over ten years that's a treasury bond so ten to thirty years would be a treasury bond. The lower the term the lower the interest rate so a lot of these are one percent two percent and then the longer term are actually more. These are guaranteed. You can't lose your money. The federal government will pay you back um, with interest and your principal. So these are safe investments, and this is what you might find in your retirement account or um, in pensions and in different funds that you might need. So basically, with all three of these, the discount rate, the reserve requirement, T-bills, these are the three tools that you would increase or decrease to um, actually affect the economy. So over here I have this is to raise GDP to make it go up. What you d would do to that is you would lower you would lower the discount rate. You would lower the reserve requirement, and then you would buy T bills. So you would buy T bills. Now all of these would increase the money supply or make borrowing easier, make interest rates lower. So these would stimulate more loans. And with more loans, there's more borrowing, and with more borrowing, there is actually more consumer spending. And then if you want to lower GDP or fight inflation, decrease inflation, you would actually raise the discount rate. So you would raise the discount rate. On the reserve requirement, you would raise the reserve requirement, so you would raise it. So you'd raise the reserve requirement. You'd make borrowing harder. And then for T-bills, you'd actually sell them. So you T-bills sell. So you'd sell T-bills instead of buying them. So these three things lower GDP or lower inflation, lower the debt, and that is raise the discount rate, raise the reserve requirement, sell T-bills. And if you want to fight unemployment or if you actually want to raise GDP, increase the number of jobs, you would lower the discount rate, lower the reserve requirement, and buy T-bills. Now we'll do the formulas and we'll do that in um, other videos, but this is just monetary policy basics and these are basic terms. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.